Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen, my beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, Merry Christmas, Christ is born, glorify Him. On this very special day, the Church celebrates with us the blessed Feast of Nativity. Today we witness the Lord God taking on the form of the human being. He reveals Himself to us in the form of a babe that is born in a manger. This child of Mary that was promised to us by Archangel Gabriel is Emmanuel, God who is with us, God who is among us, God who reveals Himself to His people. My beloved, today I urge all of you and I encourage all of you to keep your eyes on the thing that is most important. Keep your eyes on Him who is most important. While we might today be preoccupied with the gifts and the food and the celebration, it is also important that we take a moment and make sure that our hearts are preoccupied with the person of Jesus Christ. He is truly the gift of Christmas. He is truly the greatest gift that was ever offered to humanity. You see, my beloved, what ends up happening is if we're not careful, then really Christmas becomes nothing more than a commercial event. An event where we spend money on each other, where we exchange gifts, where we prepare a very large table and we feast and we celebrate together. And all of those things are good. All of those things are beautiful if they are done with Christian charity, with Christian love. But let us not think that somehow those things can ever replace the gift of the person of Jesus Christ. When the church celebrates nativity, we are not simply celebrating the birthday of Jesus. We are celebrating something so much more important than that. As a matter of fact, if we are, tr if we are speaking truthfully, we're not entirely sure when Jesus was born. We don't have a record of the exact date of his birth. But what we know for sure is that the reason why the church celebrates his birth is because today what we see is God who reveals himself to his creation. Don't ever forget, my beloved, that there was a period of time where God was hidden away and humanity didn't have access to him because our sin alienated us from him. We were in a state of separation because of sin. But the Lord chose to chase us. The Lord, truly, as the lover of mankind, did not allow humanity to stay in a state of ignorance of Him. But rather, He said, the only solution is for me to go to them, to reveal myself to them, to let them know that I am their King, to let them know that I am the lover of their souls, that I am their Creator, I am their Bridegroom. The Lord really does reveal Himself to us today. In this revelation of God becoming man, we witness the baby Jesus. We witness Emmanuel, the Prince of Peace. This is where the prophecies are fulfilled. For to us a child is given. This child that is given to us is the greatest gift that humanity has ever received. Our eyes must be focused on Him. And we must ask ourselves the question, what will we do? Will we be like the Bethlehem of 2,000 years ago who had no place for Him? Will we be like that Bethlehem who was preoccupied with everything else, where there was no more space left in her, and so she had nothing to offer the King? She had nothing to offer the Son of God. You know, in the Gospel of St. John, it says that the Lord came to His own, and His own did not receive Him. Will we be like that Bethlehem, the city that had nothing to offer, and so our King is forced to be born in a manger? Or will we be truly the children of God who make room for Him? Will we make room for Him to be born in us? Will we be able to receive Him? The birth of the Lord Jesus into the world is something that points to how it is that He wants to be within us. He doesn't simply want to come and visit us as if He is a stranger who comes and says hello and leaves. No. His desire is to truly become all that we are so that we can become all that He is. Isn't that what the church teaches us? Isn't that what we say in the Theotokeia, in the Psalmody? Do we not say that He took on what is ours and He gave us what is His? 
He took on our humanity and He gave us the Holy Spirit. He desires to dwell within us. Will we make room for Him? Will we tell Him, Lord, come and be born in me, dwell within me? This last little period, during the month of Kiak, we have been celebrating with all of these beautiful, joyful tunes, the Holy Mother of God, St. Mary. And in many ways, we've often compared her to what? The burning bush. What's so special about the burning bush? You see, the bush remains exactly as it is. But there is a fire that is born within the bush. And the bush is not consumed. The bush is not devoured by the fire. The fire does not overtake it. And somehow, mysteriously, the bush remains exactly as it is, as it carries this divine fire. We say the same thing about the Holy Mother of God. We say how it is that she was not consumed by the divine that dwelt within her. My beloved, this is truly the calling of every Christian person. The Lord wants to be born inside every one of us. He does not desire to devour us. He does not desire to consume our humanity, to erase our person. On the contrary, He wants us to remain exactly as we are while He dwells within us. We want the Lord to be born in us so that we can become also a reflection of that fiery burning bush. We want Him who is divine to dwell within us. We want His divine fire of love to overtake us. And we know that He does not intend to erase us or consume us or to burn us. But He wants us to be aflame with His love. Will we make room for Him, my beloved? Will we keep our eyes on this baby Jesus, this gift that was given to us today? And will we tell Him to come and be born within us? This should be our desire. This should be our goal for the year of 2021. That we come and we tell Him, Lord, You have come and taken what is ours in order to give us what is Yours. Let us receive what is Yours. Let us receive your Holy Spirit. Let it come and dwell within us. Let me make room for you, O my Lord, so that you can dwell within me, so that I can abide in you and you can abide in me, so that somehow, like that burning bush, when people look at me, they can see your divine light. They can see your divine flame of love and that they are attracted to it. And let me never, ever think that somehow, that I should fear you. You do not desire to consume me or to erase me, but rather you desire that I be one in you and you in me. Let our eyes be kept on him, my beloved. Let us celebrate his birth. Let us truly say with Saint Gregory that Christ is born, let us glorify him. My beloved, on this very special day, on behalf of Father George and all of the servants, we wish you all a very Merry Christmas. May the Lord come and be born in your hearts, in your homes. May He guide and guard your families and your lives and everything that you do. Truly today, Christ is born. Let us glorify Him. To Him be all glory, now and forever, and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Merry Christmas, my beloved.